What's up guys? We're picking this vlog up exactly where yesterday is left off. And uh hopefully today I'll get the call to go pick up my phone. If you watched yesterday's you know what I'm talking about. I was supposed to get it Friday. It didn't come in Friday. I had it pre ordered. I said it'd be like two days, that would have been Sunday. Yesterday was Monday, today's Tuesday. I still haven't got a phone call. It's, it's starting to get a bit frustrating. Cause my phone, the current phone I use right now, I love it. My Galaxy S5 battery only lasts like a quarter of a day now. Look at it. If you notice, my door doesn't have a piece of wood going over it, which means it's locked from the inside. Which means... If you remember my rant from yesterday, he's back in there messing with stuff in my shop again. Eventually, I'm gonna settle this and not care what people have to say and not care how the outcome goes. Cause it's my shop. I just got off the phone with Verizon. Again, it's not Verizon's fault. But if you know, the Samsung Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus was supposed to come out this past Friday. It's Tuesday. Verizon had all of their um, showroom floor models. Not even the showroom floor models, some in stock for people who wanted to go in and pick them up and majority of their pre-orders come in. Well, I pre-ordered like the first day able to pre-order the Galaxy S8 Plus. It ain't even at the store yet and I can't get it because I can't cancel a pre-order and pick one up that's in the store. That is a stupid policy for Verizon, but I kind of understand it. I said, this is the first issue I've had with Verizon and if this is the biggest issue I gotta deal with, I can deal with it. My issue comes with FedEx still not having my phone at the location. Because my battery on my Galaxy S5 has gotten it's like my the whole phone. Like, it's time for an update. I've been eligible for a while. I've been waiting for this phone. Blah, blah, blah. And it's just, it's getting to that point. My battery won't last an, a four hours before it's dead from a full charge. And the phone's got an issue, wants to keep rebooting every like 30 minutes to an hour. I need a new phone. My phone needs to get here as soon as possible. Maybe it'll be in store today, maybe not. Friday, they told me two to three days. That would have been Sunday, Monday even. What is this Tuesday? Still not there. Now they're telling me that FedEx is like, according to their ordering regiments, FedEx is saying it'll be there by like 4.30 today. So, we'll see. Again, not mad with Verizon. This is not in Verizon's control. It's the shipping and FedEx. So, as you can see by the clouds behind me, it had gotten nice and sunny, and the ground itself, until you get the dirt, it's pretty dry. I was gonna weed eat. But, I'm not weed eat, mo, because as you can tell, I need to mow. And, I think I can do it, but there's, I mean, it looks like it's gonna rain again. Any minute now, it looks like it could drop bottom. Especially, off in that direction. That just looks horrible. And I just heard it thundering. But I did figure this is a great opportunity to come out and explain what I was talking about. I ain't got my key to get in the shop. But a great idea, a great opportunity to explain what I was talking about earlier on when I showed this, the zoom in of the door. The piece of wood is locked from the outside, that goes over. The actual door on the inside stays locked. 
And uh, I have a phone call, so I'll get right back with you. So that big rant I did just a few minutes ago about, well, I won't say rant, but fussing about my, my new phone not arriving yet. A uh, phone call I just had was Verizon. And they were letting me know my phone has just come in the mail, like just walked in the door. The, the FedEx people just delivered it and they just checked it in and they called me because they understand, especially at my local, my, my local, you know, store, they understand that the point of pre-ordering something is to make sure you get it the day of, not for it to get lost in mail and get it like half a week late. So I'm going to get changed. Maybe wait for the wife to get off work in case she wants to go. Well, not off work, but home because she should be off work and home soon. And go pick up my phone. So, wife's here. Hi. And, uh, remember I told you guys I was not going to mow because I got ready to start mowing and I heard the thunder and then I heard the, 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 saw the rain clouds and everything. Yeah, it's raining. It's sprinkling at the moment. But it's dark, it's gonna get bad. But we're on the way to get my phone. So, that's a plus. Car feels like it's about to cut off, so that's a negative. And then we're doing WIC. So, fun day. Fun day. Yep. So we're back in food line. And the kid is near about out of his strawberry syrup again. Go figure. Getting the wig, getting the strawberry. So Verizon, check. Food Lion, check. Is there anything else we need to do before we go home? Nope. Are you sure? I really don't want to come back out, but I will. Nothing else you want to take care of? You heard her. To get home, get a message from my neighbor saying he needs my help. Of course, you know that message came through on Facebook off my phone that wasn't activated. So when we got home, it came through because I haven't loaded Facebook on my new phone and hasn't messaged me back. But I'm about to head to his house to see if he's home and still needs help. So, yeah, if he's home. Let him tell you what the thing is, cause it, it's it's kind of funny, I must say. So I'm over at my boys, and he wanted me to show him how to start. Start, just ball. You know how to start. I'm good. How are you? New four wheeler. New him. <laughs> Guys, there's also this thing of um I no longer have to deal with this because I got it <gasps> I like that it's a plus I, I got it I got my new phone and tell me that this ain't a birdie phone cause I think that's a birdie phone I do <laughs> but I'll definitely be doing a re unboxing slash reveal party party video for that on my other channel. Probably filming it tomorrow, so it might be up today for you watching. Maybe, maybe tomorrow. Soon, we'll go with soon. Well, guys, I mean, yeah. While it's funny. My neighbor had issues starting his four wheeler. They just bought. It is an older model, so I mean, I had a little bit of trouble helping him start it. But we got it started. He knows what to do. He knows how to start it. It's all good. And um, <laughs> he uh, he'll actually be in some videos in the future. Like, I'm sure of it. Other channel, vlog channel, all of it. But well, that's about going to wrap it up for tonight, guys. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. And, um, 
leave me in the comments any stories you got of you know buying something and just can't get it to work and having to have somebody show you how to do it or help you with it because we've all got them stories we do and um well guys until next time keep it real